Hello students. So today I am going to start our next chapter which is optical detector. So in this video I will discuss about the photodiode. So let's start this lecture. So today I am going to start our next chapter which is optical detectors. So optical detectors are used at the output of optical fiber means light coming out of optical fiber falls on a photo detectors that photo detectors convert the light energy into electrical energy that photo detectors can be a photo diode or the photo resistor which is also called as light dependent resistor or the photo transistor so we are going to start first see this is the optical fiber this is our optical fiber so light coming out of this fiber falls on this is the photo detector photo detector so this light which is coming out of optical fibers this light energy is converted into electrical energy by photo detector that photo detector can be led that photo detector can be photo diode or ldr which is light dependent resistor or photo resistor or the photo transistor so in this lecture i am going to discuss about the photo diode so photo diode having symbol this is the diode and light coming out that is the led so if we are talking about photo diode light falls on it so this is the symbol of this is the symbol of photo diode now why do we represent this is opposite of led in the led light is uh, arrow is outward means light is emitted in this in this in a photo diode light falls on it only when only then it will conduct and photo diode is always operated in reverse bias mode means if this is a pn diode this is pn and this is the depletion region this is pn if it is reverse bias then width of depletion will be very large means now if it is operated in a reverse bias mode so p will be connected to n n will be connected to p side of a battery so this is the reverse bias this is a pn diode now when a light falls on it only then it will conduct when the diode is in reverse bias the current which flows is called leakage current in this case we will call when there is no light falling on it then the current which is flowing in a circuit is called dark current now so it is very very small or approximate to zero that is equivalent to leakage current and that is due to minority carriers now our discussion is this is the incident photons means packets of energy is falling where will go this energy this will energy with this falling energy will generate the electrons hold pair that is the basic principle of photo diode means the incident photons are used or electrons hold pairs are generated due to incident photons if number of photons are suppose more more electrons hold pairs are generated means efficiency of pn diode is high that is termed as quantum efficiency so if incident photons where it will fall this is the active or the sensing area so when photons will fall on this more electrons hold pair this is see hole and electrons because of depletion they have been separated now the bond between them means to generate a free electron or moving out of an ion in this active visual sense we need some amount of energy that energy is provided by incident photon so these are photons are energy of packets means when light is falling this is light containing photons because light has a dual nature so when a light falls on an active sensing area in this region electrons hold pairs are generated and that current goes here as a photo current so if we talk about a symbol so <clears throat> this is the symbol of photo diode now light is falling on it only then it will conduct so it is operated in reverse bias region so this is the part now where that electron that free electrons the in this region electron hold pairs are generated now this free electron will be attracted towards the battery so it will move in this direction and a hole will move in this direction 
सो टोटल करंट कन्वेंशनल डायरेक्शन ऑफ करंट इज अपोजिट टू द फ्लो ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन सो करंट विच इज फ्लोइंग विल बी इन दिस डायरेक्शन दैट इज कॉल्ड फोटो करंट नाउ सो इन द फोटो करंट दिस इज द फोटो करंट दैट इज ड्यू टू इंसिडेंट फोटोन्स दिस करंट इज जनरेटेड ड्यू टू इंसिडेंट फोटोन्स वेन देर इज नो लाइट फॉलोइंग on it the current which is flowing in the circuit is reverse saturation current which is called in this case is the dark current when no light is falling the current which is flowing in a circuit is dark current so total current is due to dark current plus current due to incident photons so that is the total photo current the total current that will flowing in the circuit now if we talk about the types of photo detect photo photo diode types of photo diode so we have pn photo diode pn photo diode so which we saw in this is this is pn photo diode other type of diode is pin photo diode pin photo diode so p p is the p type semiconductor i stands for intrinsic that is pure semiconductor n is the n type semiconductor means between p and n a pure intrinsic semiconductor is present that will constitute the pin photo diode because of intrinsic in between a layer is introduced called intrinsic semiconductor the width of depletion will be large means active sensing area will be large so there will be more area in a pn diode this is the only area active area the depletion region where Electrons or pair will be generated. Now, due to this introduction of intrinsic layer in a p in between p and i, the width of depletion will be more. Now, active sensing area will be more. So, for same num number of incident photons, more electrons or pairs can be generated. So, efficiency of p and photo diode can be improved. Other type of photo diode is avalanche avalanche photo diode. in avalanche photo diode current amplification take place due to avalanche breakdown so in avalanche photo diode current amplification take place so this is about the photo diode so point to be remember about photo diode is first that is it is always operated in reverse bias mode always operated in reverse bias mode so number of second point is number of electron hole pairs electron hole pairs are generated are generated due to incident due to incident photon that is opposite of the led in led photons are released due to recombination of electron hole pair whereas in case of photo diode incident is photons are incident and electrons hole pairs are generated due to which a current is flowing and led is operated in forward bias whereas photo diode is operated in reverse bias okay so this point to be remember so next we'll discuss about the quantum efficiency which is nothing but a very important term how much photons will be generated that information is given by quantum efficiency so we'll next discuss that